Hello everybody and welcome to your ninth tutorial in the Allegro HD tu um, tutorial series. Um, and as you can see from the title, it's called Working with the Buffer. And um, you guys are probably saying you promi I promised that I was going to be showing about graphics programming. Well, you are lucky because this is a part of graphics programming. Now, uh, for those who have watched my old tutorial series, this is extremely, extremely important. I can't stress it. Because of the um, memory leaks and stuff, you need to watch this to prevent memory leaks. Um, so, you're, you might be asking yourself, um, what is a buffer? Well, if you hadn't noticed, um, the program that we made on the last tutorial was pretty cool. You got to move around some text around the screen and such. But if you've noticed, it sort of flickered sometimes. In my video, you've seen the text flickering every, like, almost every single second, right? And you're saying a game is not supposed to flicker like that. It really isn't. A game is not supposed to flicker. It's supposed to be steady movement with reduced flickering. Now, I need to explain to, to explain the buffer. It's best if I explain to you why it flickered because it's always good to increase your knowledge. You might only have to create a buffer in Allegro because things like OpenGL and stuff have a built-in buffer. But it's good to know why you need a buffer, so then in future references, whatever language or API you use, you can understand what is going on. So before, right now I have these set to buffer, but before, remember these were set to screen, right? All these were set to screen. So then, let's see what was going on. We drew um, our position, we drew our word to the screen, both of them to the screen and um, forget the blit right now we never had the blit function so we drew it we drew everything to the screen we rested for 20 seconds and then we cleared the screen completely so then what happened it would draw it to the screen after 20 milliseconds then it would take it off the screen so then nothing would be drawn to the screen so then the screen would go black right then it will go through the update loop a few times then it will get to the draw functions and then it would draw to the screen again for 20 milliseconds and then it would take it off again and because of that it kept on taking it would, it would cause a flickering it would draw then take it off draw then take it off again and then that's what causes flickering so then how do we avoid this well we avoid this by creating what is known as buffers Basically, the buffer is basically a secondary screen that we create in order we draw all our content to that secondary screen and then transfer the what's drawn from that secondary screen onto the main game screen. And you might be saying, that's kind of pointless. Why do that, right? Well, this is the reason why. We draw, we will draw the text to the buffer and we drop both the text to the buffer and then we would blit basically what this blit function does is transfer what's on the buffer to the actual screen so we can see it right now the difference here is that we don't indeed clear the screen we clear the buffer so when it goes back to the top of the program to loop you are still seeing something on the screen the screen is not clean, not cleared. The the buffer is cleared, not the screen. So there's something still on the screen. Then when I loop to the program, goes through all the updates and stuff. There's still something being. There's still what was drawn last is still being drawn to the screen. Then when it goes to the draw section, then it updates what was there before. So it redraws the buffer over the screen again, and then you clear the bitmap once again and you clear the buffer once again and then therefore since you're not clearing the whole screen you're just clearing what you're clearing the bitmap then or you're clearing the buffer then in that case you it won't cause flickering if you would if you understand what i mean and if it doesn't make sense to you then you can pm me or um comment and i can explain it more in depth and there's always the allegro manual to explain it to you so you're saying, okay, there's this amazing thing called a buffer. 
well how do I get a buffer um how do I create one etc well there's something called Allegro in Allegro called bitmaps much like font the bitmap has to be in capital letters then you have to put a pointer to the buffer and then you put equals to create underscore bitmap and then we set the bitmap size equal to the sc screen width and the screen height now we don't just use the um the bitmap just to create um buffers and stuff we can use it to load images and a lot of other things right so but for now we we created a bitmap called buffer because we wanted to use it as a buffer and we stated as create bitmap and we set it to the screen width and the screen height now most programs like OpenGL only require one bitmap and I will require only one buffer in reality I don't believe you need more than one um, buffer I haven't needed more than one buffer but you have the option of creating more than one buffer say for some reason you wanted to have four um, buffers to draw four different sections of the screen you could easily do that and then specify the buffers width um, and height to one quarter of the screen right and then you could all blit certain you could draw certain things to certain buffers and then draw them all to the screen at once to have one image but to me that seems kind of pointless and you will figure out ways to do everything with just one buffer so anyways most um if we're creating like platformers and games like that um that require a like a big map that is greater than the initial screen size then you can indeed set a buffer that is greater than the screen size and then when we do screen scrolling and such then you'll be able to see certain other sections of the actual buffer that you weren't able to see before but those are for more advanced tutorials so anyways as i continue on we have created our buffer and now we need to be able to draw to the buffer so what we do is that if you notice here it would ask for a bitmap our first bitmap that we drew to was called screen but now that we've created an actual buffer then we're gonna draw everything to the buffer so we put buffer here to draw the uh, text to the buffer um, the coding made easy text and we draw my brother's YouTube channel text to the buffer as well and remember order matters when it comes um, to drawing if I was to draw my brother's um, thing before mine then my Th then my word www.codingmadeeasy.ca would show up above my brother's right but because his is drawn after mine then his shows up over mine so order matters is sequential order matters when it comes to drawing um, an allegro you draw the farthest thing you want first like if you were if you had a background you would draw the background first then you would draw the platforms then you would draw the player and other things but that is for later tutorials so anyways we have a function called here called blit um and what is blit blit is basically we will learn more in depth about what blit does but basically blit basically draws whatever you put from here to whatever you want over here so say I had two buffers and I want to draw buffer 1 to buffer 2 then that's what it does so right now it's basically stating that I want to draw buffer the buffer to the screen so it can be displayed right and if I was to write it out again here you see buffer it asks for the bitmap source um, the destination where you want to draw it to so that's the screen then it asks for the source X and the source Y it's basically saying from where on the bitmap do you want to start drawing from um, in the X coordinate so I set to 0 and from where in the Y coordinate do you want to start drawing from so I set it to 0 because I want to draw it from the first point to the end point I want to draw the whole bitmap sometimes you want to draw certain sections of the bitmap but most of the times you want to draw the whole bitmap 
um, but like when it comes to like um, doing screen scrolling then with the cameras and stuff then this all the stuff might change but um, the destination X and the destination Y um, where you want to start drawing the buffer on the screen in this case since the buffer is the same um, screen, um, width and height as the screen we want to start drawing it from the top left corner and then it says the width and height of um, what we're drawing so since it's a screen width it's the same as the screen width and screen height all we do is put screen width and screen height there and it might seem a bit confusing but you will learn a lot about the blit function because that is significantly really important when it comes to Allegro so you'll be learning more about it and then the rest here um, to me I would probably change to 60 and then when you clear the bitmap don't set it to screen make sure it's set to buffer and just as you destroy the font you have to destroy bitmaps as well this will prevent memory leaks as I forgot to teach in my other tutorials if you don't destroy the bitmap then you're gonna create memory leaks okay and everything else in the program is the same so if I click F5 to run it or F9 in code blocks uh, let's see what we get so as you can see you can move it oh if you set it to 60 it's a kind of a bit of staggered movement but as you'll notice there's not that much flickering if there's flickering in the video it's due to the screen recorder but there should not be any flickering in your program itself anymore so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Um, next, we're gonna be the next tutorial. We're gonna be learning about drawing shapes and stuff like that that are built into Allegro. And then after that, we're gonna be learning about put, putting in sprites and sprite sheets and learning how to do animation and stuff with the sprites and sprite sheets, so you can have a full fledged game. So thanks for watching this tutorial. Hope you enjoyed it and bye.